Greetings, Omnion Slice, and today I want to showcase what I think is the best weapon in Elden Ring's new DLC, or at least one of the best weapons. It is called Relana's Twin Blades. It is a boss weapon that goes up to plus 10. It drops after you defeat Relana in the boss fight. The boss fight takes place in the Castle Ensis, so you have to go through the Castle Ensis area. The biggest highlight of this weapon is its special move, or its Ash of War. If you hold L2, or left trigger, you can just hold it like this. And then you can either press R1, which does this. Or R2, while holding L2. And you do a fiery vortex. This weapon is a jack of all trades. It is a, an attribute scaling weapon that scales with four different attributes. So strength, intelligence, dexterity, and faith. It'll only become a C once you reach plus 10. So it is important to note that this weapon is only good if you have enough smithing stones and enough stats to put into it. I entered the DLC at level 170 and this weapon has proven to be quite remarkable and it's not broken as you might think it's not you're not going to one shot the final boss with this let's just you know you're not gonna first try every area i think it's a wonderful weapon and it probably is amazing in pvp as well but uh yeah so let's showcase it shall we let's go through an area real quick and fight some enemies but yeah if you haven't already please consider subscribing and leave a like if you've enjoyed this video so far and stay tuned for more. Let me know what you think about this comment in the comments. But anyway, here we are at Castle Ensis. This is a... It's kind of a early game area. It can be slightly challenging. At least for me. But anyway. As you can see, it's good. But it's not game breaking. Like I said. It definitely plays a lot more like a... Dexterity build. But yeah, I'm combining it with these talismans, the Urtree's Favor plus one, the Millicent's Prosthesis, don't ask me how I got that, and the Prosthesis Wear Heirloom and Stargazer Heirloom, only because this increases my damage, but of course you can you can use whatever you want. Uh, I like combining it with these talismans. Alternatively, you can use one of the DLC talismans that increases your damage when you defeat foes like the Crusade Insignia, or maybe when, you know, we progress, we will probably find more talismans. But so far, the base game's talismans have been proven to be quite effective. But yeah, let's see how it fares against a bunch of wolves here. So you might be overwhelmed, so we hold L2 and then R2. And it covers a wide area. And like you see there, it also benefits a lot from the prosthesis... Uh, Millicent's Prosthesis because it raises attack power upon successive attacks and makes my weapon go up to 11, 14 damage. So that's a lot of damage and it can be proven to be quite the weapon against players because of that. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to know when I go live next during my playthrough of this DLC. But yeah, anyway, here's a quick look at the early game area. Uh, the castle is one of the first areas that you encounter, so it's very early into the game, so the DLC game. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.